Welcome back to Miss Ewing TV. Today we're going to create a collage and a collage is just a bunch of different things assembled together to make a bigger picture. We're going to make our collage out of paper and to, to find these different shapes I used some different things. So to get this square I found a little paint sample or strip and cut one of the squares off. Um, for this shape right here I cut a rectangle out of an envelope and I liked that there was a little window because I'm gonna make my collage into a robot. These rectangles are just cardboard scraps and then all of the rest of the, the shapes came from magazines. So if you find a shape like here's a circle, I could cut that circle out to use in my collage or I could just draw a circle with my pencil and cut out the circle that way. So you're going to need lots of different shapes. You're going to need a piece of paper. I used a crayon to color my paper so I peeled the wrapper off and I held it on its side just to give it some color but you could leave your paper white if you want to. You're going to need a glue stick to glue all of your shapes down and you'll need scissors to cut out your shapes. So before I glue them down though, I'm gonna lay them out and try to figure out how I want my robot to look. I liked this because I thought this could be kind of like part of the controls or part of the body of the robot. I think I'll have my robot's head a square. And I cut out two of a lot of my rectangles because I was thinking I need two arms, two legs, maybe two antennas. I like these little skinny ones for antennas. And it could run off the page, I guess, or I could make those the arms. Hmm. Could make them stand up a little higher. We got this trapezoid. Maybe I could put it on the head, like a hat. <laughs> I could make these my arms. Make my arms a little longer. I could use maybe these as controllers. I like how they have numbers on them, but I don't want to cover up that window. I got these little triangles. Maybe one could be kind of how it's connected to the body. Maybe this one's got something in its hand. Hmm. You can switch it around and create any create it any way you'd like. Maybe it has one big eye and one little eye. All right, once you get it exactly how you want it, maybe I'll put this over here too. Then you're gonna glue it down. So using your glue stick, I guess I'll start with the body. Just put a little bit of glue on the back. I always like to make sure I get around the edges. All right, there's my shape robot. Don't forget to take a picture with your Chromebook and send it to me and then close out and click that turn in button. Have fun. I can't wait to see what you create.